Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the vlog. It is Sunday morning. I have not one, but all three of the pups in the car right now. We got Luna, we got Momo, we got Daisy. <laughs> Daisy loves a car ride. Luna's still getting used to them, and Momo is not a fan, so I always have to pet Momo. I'd love to have her in my lap, but we keep them in the car seat strapped in for safety, so I just pet her like this while we're driving, but good morning! It is Sunday morning. We have got up early, and we are going on a big family hike. All five of us. Cal's currently pumping the car with gas, and yes, I hope you're all having a wonderful morning. I am very excited to get my body moving, and this is our first time hiking with all three of the dogs. I already know how it's going to go. Luna's gonna love it. I took her for a hike last week and she was living the entire time. So she's gonna love it. Daisy's gonna get tired like halfway through and I'm gonna have to carry her. And then Momo's gonna get tired like a third of the way through and then we're gonna have to carry her. So we did bring the stroller because after we're gonna get breakfast and go to the farmer's market and things. And I've taken a stroller on a hike before because they just get tired. They have little legs. It's a lot for their joints. But this hike that we're going on is not paved and it's just like dirt and little wood chips and things. So I don't think the stroller would work on that. So we're gonna carry them. And yes, I brought this cute little backpack. This is my little hiking bag today. I put in my vlog camera. We've got some water bottles. Actually, I need some water. You can see the little head of my sunny angel right here. <laughs> the little radish top. So in my bag, I've got keys. I've also got my wallet. I put some TREA teas for them. Honestly, I'm gonna give them a little bit right now because they're being so good and calm. I'm just gonna take one and split it up for them. I know, good pups. Here, Daisy Mae. Good girl. Here, Luna. Good girls. <laughs> Hello, vlog. Okay, then we've got sunglasses. And then I've also got this little guy, which is a dog water bottle. So you basically, it stays locked. And then when you wanna unlock it, you flip the switch and then you can push this button and the water will go into like the little drinking reservoir for them. So we're on all this. I got my backpack ready. Are you ready? to hike, babe? I'm ready. I was saying that Luna will make it the whole way, Daisy will make it halfway, and Mama will make it a third of the way. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Okay, bye. We've made it about a third. Luna is having so much fun. Daisy's doing well. She's a little slower, but she's doing well. And as predicted, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> she looks so cute. He, she has bad joints. She does have bad joints. He held her for a bit and then, or he walked her for a bit and then he held her, put her back down. She started walking, stopped, sat, and looked at him. <laughs> she is so me. Good job, Miss Luna. Lots of energy. Good job, TT. You're doing so well. So pretty. This hike starts with only uphill, so it's been a little, a little tough for them, but we got it. Come on, girls. We got it. Everyone's doing so well. Those are my girls. Come on, girls. I'm going Let's backwards go. downhill. This is not going well. Be careful, babe. Good job, everyone. We're <laughs> crushing. This is insane. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. But they're so happy. <laughs> <laughs> we finished our hike. We've just skipped brunch because it actually took longer than we had initially anticipated, but we are gonna stop by the farmer's market and this is currently happening. <laughs> this is Luna's first time in the stroller, so she is half hanging her body out. We have them strapped in though, so they're safe, but this is so funny. What are we gonna do when we have real kids? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Two strollers, double strollers. All right, checking it out. You can't bring animals in here, so Cal's back with the doggies and I'm just giving it a look-see-loo. <gasps> Korean food. Oh, I'm gonna get some kimchi for sure. Look at these little baby donut peaches. I'm so excited for peach and nectarine season. Got some peaches and nectarines. There are so many stands here, it's crazy. I don't even know where to go. Got some goods, I'll do a little haul when we get back. Didn't get much, cause we're going home. Pal's got some plans. The pups apparently got lots of pets. Oh yeah. We couldn't bring them into the farmer's market, so we were just sitting there and everyone loved them. Everyone loves yeah. them. <laughs> All three of them together. <laughs> they look like the three-headed dog from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They are getting all the love today. Oh, the train's coming back. We also ran into Ash and her boyfriend, which is so fun to see them. And now we're gonna go home, I'm gonna shower, and I'm gonna make some breakfast because I am hungry. Hello, guys. Okay, I took a shower. My hair is nice and clean. I did a full, like, full body shower. Scrubbed, shaved, all the things. So I'm I'm feeling fresh and clean and I made my lunch. I actually had this going while I was in the shower. I threw this salmon that I bought. If you guys missed the last vlog, I did a big Erewhon haul. That's why the countertop is so crazy behind me. That's all the stuff that I bought last night that was like non-perishable. I have a lot of cleaning, a lot of organizing to do today, but I need some energy before then. So I threw the salmon that I got from Erewhon into a big Ziploc bag last night. Ooh. Kel just texted me, this is amazing. Yay, good, I haven't tried it yet. Threw the salmon into like a big Ziploc bag, added in like two large chopped up 
cloves of garlic with some of the coconut secret teriyaki sauce. If you guys want to see, it's in the last haul. And a little water. And then I let that marinate overnight. And then I threw it in the air fryer at 375 for 10 minutes. And I let it sit in there and kind of you know, cool down a bit. Put some baby potatoes in the air fryer as well with the garlic olive oil spray. And I did these at 390 for 20 minutes and they're like perfectly soft and delicious. And then on the stove, I just added on some sugar snap peas with the same coconut teriyaki sauce and some garlic powder, onion powder. And that's it. I'm gonna try a bite. Let's see, salmon. Mmm, oh my God. Wow, that is delicious. It's so juicy and not, I hate dry overcooked salmon. Very flavorful. Normally I would do rice with this, but I wanted to use up these potatoes because they were about to go bad. The potatoes it is. Mm. Also to the salmon bag, I added a little bit of honey too, hot honey. So I think that's where the sweetness is coming from. I'm gonna chill out for a little bit, drink some water. I'm gonna make a matcha because I need some energy and then we're gonna get to cleaning. Hi everyone, I'm coming at you from the exact same spot that I just ended the last clip in, but I promise I've been very productive. Oh no, my little clips created a crimpy, but you can see by how dry my hair is, it's been quite some time. I've been very productive, right Cal? Super productive, you should see the whole house, it's crazy. I have cleaned the garage. I cleaned out the fridge. I organized the pantry, unboxed all my PR stuff, organized that, recycled those boxes. I need to go tackle putting all of that away now. I'm just a little tired now. But yes, I was gonna hang out with Alicia tonight, but we pushed our plans to tomorrow. So I am going to hang out with her tomorrow. And tonight I'm just having a chill night, hanging out, cleaning, my favorite kind of night. Also, while opening up all the packages, I did receive a package in which I bought from Amazon. If you guys have AirPod Maxes, I'll leave these linked down below. It was very inexpensive, but they're basically just like little silicone covers for your headphones. I don't know about you guys, but I get so sweaty. I wear my headphones the most when I'm doing work or cleaning. And when I clean, I get so sweaty. So I would always like get sweat into the little plushy things here, little covers. But I got these little silicone covers. Oh, also I wear my headphones to work out where obviously I'm getting very sweaty. And these just A, protect the outside from scratches. B, make them sweat proof so I can just wipe them off after. and then. Also see, it makes it cute and made them baby pink. So I'll leave the link down below. I am just uh, listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos, and I'm actually watching Ollie's new vlog. So go check it out if you guys haven't already. And I'm gonna get back to cleaning. Goodbye. Made me, well, this is from Erwan. He heated me up a breakfast burrito and I told him to try it. And what'd you say? It's blasphemy. <laughs> you don't put broccoli in a breakfast burrito. <laughs> you put hash browns, bacon, <laughs> eggs. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your day. Well, I'm just picking up the vlog where I left off. I think I left you on Sunday. Yesterday was Monday. I just had a normal work day. And today my cramps are so bad. I'm on my period and it is really bad today. So I've been struggling since I woke up, but I got up, took a shower, and we are going to the studio today for Pretty Basic, which is very exciting. We're doing two episodes. But before then, I just finished a meeting about something very exciting. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it, yet. I'm sorry, I'm being an annoying influencer, but I had a meeting with some of my agents and nothing crazy, more of an ideation meeting, but did that, just finished. You saw Cal try to give me that burrito this morning, but I was craving something sweet, but then I ran late, so I didn't get to eat anything before the meeting. So basically I'm telling you, I'm very hungry. So let's go make something for breakfast right now. And I'm thinking a smoothie, but I might change my mind. Come on, ladies. All the pups are with me. Let's go pups, let's go pups. All pups out of the office, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go. I'm hungry. I need something to eat. I wish I had prepped chia seed pudding because that sounds good, but I didn't. I think I'm gonna do a yogurt bowl. Also last night for dinner, I was immensely craving spring rolls or summer rolls. I've always called them spring rolls. Uh, some people tell me that I say it wrong, but some season of the year rolls, you know, the ones rolled up in rice paper and then I individually wrapped them so I could take them for lunch today. But I put in shrimp, salmon, sashimi. I did like boiled shrimp, cucumber, avocado, and lettuce and wrapped them up and they're so good with some sweet chili sauce. So I'm gonna bring these for lunch to the studio, but yes, okay, yogurt bowl. I'm gonna add strawberries. I got some strawberries at the farmer's market. Oh, I never showed you guys, but I got strawberries at the farmer's market. They're the best strawberries I've ever had. Also from the farmer's market, I picked up some nectarines and peaches. And then I also got this right here. I needed to show you guys these. I went to that Korean stand and they had kimchi and I wanted to try this man. His name is Dave, Dave's kimchi. I got the regular kimchi. I also got the pickled daikon. This is called, I think it's 
it's called gakdugi. I know the gakdugi is like the spicy one. I don't know if there's another name for one that's not spicy, but pickled daikon and then the kimchi that's not spicy. So I grabbed these. He said they're obviously great for probiotic health. And we ran out of the one that I got from the Korean grocery store. So I thought I'd give Dave a try. We'll see if I like his. I'm more of a, a, a fresh kimchi fan. I don't know about you guys, but I like when my kimchi is not super sour, which I know that's like the, the fermented goodness of it, but I love a fresh kimchi. Like if it's just made, I can eat buckets of it. But yes, okay, sorry. I'm in a talkative mood. I got my strawberries from the farmer's market. I'm gonna do some of this harmless harvest unsweetened plain coconut yogurt in there, as well as a little bit of this super probiotic coconut yogurt, two coconuts. This is regular coconut yogurt. This is the probiotic one. So this one's like sour, sour. I'm gonna do two eggs and then I'm gonna do a piece of this Canyon Bakehouse gluten-free honey white bread. This stuff is really good, honestly. So I'm gonna do a slice of this, all this, chop it up. I'll show you when I'm done. <laughs> Made my yogurt. I did the coconut yogurt with a little bit of the probiotic one, some strawberries, and then I also chopped up a white peach and put it in here. The, uh, oh, and I did like four drops of stevia. I did a slice of the gluten-free toast, a little vegan cream cheese, some tomatoes and flaky salt on top. Let's try. Mmm, mm-hmm. Look, it needs a little more flavor. Everything but the bagel. You guys know when this first came out, I was all over this. I don't really use it anymore. For some things, it really just needs that extra little crunch from the sesame and from the garlic and from the onion. All right, let's try this. Mm-hmm. The little textural element of the crunch makes a huge difference. And for the eggs, I decided to soft boil. So I'm going to give them a little ice bath. Lately, how I've been boiling my eggs is putting them in a pot of cold water, bringing the water to a boil, shutting off the heat once it comes to a boil. And then I let these sit for six minutes in there. I did 10 minutes the other day and they were like a medium hard, almost hard. All right, let's try a little salt. I don't know how or why, but they're cooked exactly the same as they were when I left them in for another like five minutes. So I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, but I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I'll see you guys at the studio. Hello vlog. So sorry, I've been here at the studio. Look who's here. Hello. We're reunited. We just did episode one. Now we swapped into new outfits. How cute is this? And I'm gonna record episode two. And that's it. That's what's happening. See you soon. Sorry, bad update. Hi guys, good morning. Happy Friday. I am leaving on a trip tomorrow, but we'll get to that later. Right now, I'm up this morning. Oh, I also got my nails done. I got this really pretty blue color. Hold on, let me show you what color it is. It's this one. This is the uh, OPI gel color in Malibu. Sure, which is perfect. I mean, I'm going to Malibu today. I did the blue because we are going on the vacation, which you guys will see later. But yes, it's so pretty. This is like my favorite shade of blue, as we all know. It's like the color of the car. Love it so much. So yes, I am up this morning. We are going to go get a really good workout in. Before then, though, I'm going to go stop at McDonald's because I want to make a TikTok because if you guys missed it, we had Madison Beer on Pretty Basic. We actually did two episodes with her. She was amazing. I've been a huge fan of her music since like Home With You, since Dead, since I Won't Make You Walk Away. Like I've told her, I'm like, I've, I've been a fan forever. So to have her on was amazing. She was so, so sweet. And I especially loved it because like 75% of the episode, we just talked about food, which you guys know, I love talking about food. I love food so much. And she told me that I need to try a McGriddle at McDonald's. I've never tried a McGriddle in my life. And every time people talk about them, I'm like, I need to try one. And when Madison Beer tells you to do something, you do something. So I'm gonna stop at McDonald's, get a little breakfast sandwich for my pre-workout, and then we're gonna go work out. But yes, let's get on it. And and then we have an exciting day today. Let's go. My alarm is going off to wake me up right now, but I woke up extra early. Love it. Also, I did not make the bed because I'm gonna wash the sheets later. So we'll just half make it right now. I wanted to show you my little workout fit of the day though, because I think it's really cute. I'm wearing this sports bra from Set Active. Again, love this blue shade. It's really comfortable. It's stretchy, holds the girls up nicely. This little cropped black athletic jacket is from Aritzia. And then I'm wearing some aloe black, just flare yoga pants. And my shoes are my APL. I think they're called zip lines, I want to say. And I love them because they're super comfortable, but I just threw these in the washer and then let them air dry and they look pretty much brand new. They got really dirty because I hike with them and go outside with them, but they look brand new. All right, let's go to McDonald's. Hello all, we've made it through the McDonald's, the Golden Arches drive through as you can see. I got my order. This is a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle with a round egg, not the, uh, the other eggs that they use. Apparently they crack a fresh egg. And then actually I ended up deciding I was craving a cold brew, just a black cold brew. Oh, I always forget to focus on my face. So sorry, there we go. Hold on, let me move you this way so you're not just like staring at a steering wheel. There we go. All right, it is fresh 
fresh. It is warm. So I believe a McGriddle, wow, is like a pancake with the syrup like baked into it. All right, here she is, McGriddle, sausage, egg, and cheese, round egg. Oh my God, it's so good. This blows the Egg McMuffin out of the water. I'm so sad I missed this my whole life. Oh my God, you guys. This is delicious. This might be my new favorite thing to ever get at McDonald's. I'm just gonna savor in this moment. This truly might be one of the best things I've ever had. It's like soft pancakes with a syrup baked in. And I love when food sticks to the roof of my mouth. I don't know about you guys, but I love like soft, almost like mushy food with the round egg. Oh my God. Did I sit in the parking lot and finish it groaning and moaning with each bite? Yes. Do I feel a little ill now? Yes. Should I have probably waited till after I worked out to eat it? Also, yes. I don't know why. I thought it was gonna give me like massive amounts of energy for this workout, but now I'm just like, ooh, that was so good. I'm like in a little bit of a food coma. All is well though, guys. We're in the parking lot of the gym. I am just letting my stomach settle for a few and then we're gonna go in and hit a workout. You know, maybe it really will give me some energy soon. I was thinking of like, you know when people eat a Rice Krispie treat before they work out? I was like, it's the same thing. It's it's the same. That was fantastic. I would put that like in the top five things I've ever eaten at McDonald's. Like honestly, maybe even top three. That was delicious. I also love me a filet fish I love a Big Mac. I love a, a che double cheeseburger. No pickles, no mustard. That's my order. That was so good. Okay, I'm just gonna need a couple minutes and I'll see you guys soon. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, my hair looks crazy. I took it out of a ponytail. That workout, it was a, it was a decent workout. I did like 30 minutes of cardio, got some arms in, did some abs at the end, but honestly, I was really tired. No regrets for that McGriddle, but it was definitely a little bit of a harder workout to get through because I was just feeling kind of like, you know, not the best. But look who's here. Look who's here. Look who's here. Look who's here. I'm now going to shower and I'm going to do the whole nine yards. We're doing like, you know, the shave shower, the scrub shower. I'm I'm going to deep clean my hair. I'm going to dry it, do the air wrap, get ready because we are seeing Steph today. She's in town. I'm meeting her over in Malibu for lunch and she brought her daughter, Aria, and it's the first time I'm meeting Aria in person, which is crazy. But Aria just turned one. She's a fellow Aquarius and I thought she was gonna be born on my birthday. I thought we were gonna be birthday twins, but she's a couple days after me. But I can't wait to meet my little niece and I'm just so excited. Do you wanna come with us to lunch? She says no, she wants to stay home. But yeah. I'm so excited to go meet my niece and see Steph. And that is what's on the agenda next, huh? All right, I'll see you soon. I have to get all the dandruff out of my hair. Hi guys, okay, I showered, I did my makeup, I am doing my hair. I don't know about you guys, but the air wrap, granted, I mean, I have a lot of hair extensions in my hair. It takes me forever to do the air wrap. I think I've been doing my hair for like almost an hour now to like get it dry enough and then to go through and style each little individual piece. I love the way it looks. It just takes me forever. And then to like cold shock each piece, hold, hold, hold and release. I mean, it's beautiful. It's just very time consuming. But luckily, Steph pushed back our lunch because she's running a little bit late, which means I've got more time for my hair. And then I'm gonna go get some editing done before we go because that was something I had on my list today and I was gonna get done later tonight. But I'd rather have it done now so that I can have a little peace of mind later. So anyways, yeah, this side of the hair looks really good. I don't even know if you can hear me. And I'll show you guys when I brush them all out. You're also balancing on some nipple covers right now. So we're, we're really intimate, but I'm gonna finish this. I've got one little section at the top and then we'll brush through it together. Okay, hair is all officially done. That took so long. Honestly, I think I might need to redo these little back pieces because they've been sitting for a minute. Let me just throw a little curl in that. Gorgeous. Okay, now we need some product. I'm gonna go in with this Orbe Wave and Shine Spray. We got big hair today. Okay, a little bit of that. I kind of want to do some hairspray, but I'm a little worried. Just a smidge. This is the super fine hairspray also from Orbe. I love their products. They smell so nice. Okay, now that my natural hair has grown out too, I feel like it blends really nicely. Wait, I'm obsessed with this look. It looks so good. Hopefully this lasts a few days too, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Okay, gorgeous. Big hair. I am now hungry. I'm gonna go make a snack and get to some editing and I'll see you guys soon. Hello all. Okay, on my way to go grab lunch, we ended up switching where we are going and we're going to Sugar 
fish. And I also found out that Steph didn't bring Aria because she was like, Rem, I needed a mom's day out. I said, I understand. So I will meet Aria at a later date. But right now, I'm going to go see Steph. I'm so excited. I mean, I'm so lucky. I got to see her like a couple months ago, obviously, for the Taylor Swift concert, which was amazing. But I miss her. And I wish I could see her every day. And I'm going to let this car in. You can go. You can go, sir. I know it's happening. Okay. See you guys at lunch. Yeah, get vlog actually, ready. <laughs> what do you have to say to the vlog? I'm so sorry, vlog. Aria's super, super jet lagged right now, so I left her at home. We're back together. Back together again. Again. Wow, it's so cute. We got some lunch, came over to La La Land. I got a hot matcha latte, and now we're just sitting and gossiping. Just talking and catching up. My girl, yep. my sweet girl. Do you have anything to say to Alicia? So many things. I love you, Loshi. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's it. That was it. <laughs> what was my childhood turtle's name? Henry. Good job. I'll never forget. That actually is what Henry was, a red-eared slider. He was actually about this big. Look at all of them. How'd they all get here? Hi. Reunited. And if it's Steph time, good. we're going to Sephora now because I have to get a couple little travel things yes. for tomorrow. Wahoo. Wahoo. Woohoo. Woohoo. Wahoo. Wahoo. Thank you. Hitting up all the little travel guys. Hi guys. Okay, I'm back. It was so nice to see Steph. I missed her so, so much. I did buy some stuff at Sephora. The bag is ripping. So I'm going to show you these when I get home. But I'm super excited. I mostly got stuff for the trip and then I also just picked up some random like replenishment things but it was so nice to see her i'm actually going to go to the mall now and i'm meeting up with cal and i'll see you guys there look who i met up with wow so crazy i didn't so even know you'd be here i saw this cute boy at the mall and he's taking me to buy a juice i was gonna go to target tomorrow to grab some last minute vacation things but there's one here we'll stop here after no sunny angels spotting yet they've got cute little squishmallows though i mean you all know i still love my squishmallows <gasps> oh these are adorable Oh, so cute. Oh my God, Lauren, Ollie, and I saw these new ones. They're called Bum Bums. Oh, wait, it's so cute. We came to Miniso and there are so many cute little Sanrio things here, like all over the walls. I got this little lint roller because I need a lint roller and I like that there's a cover. Well, first off, I like that it's Hell Kitty, but I like that there's a cover on it so it doesn't get stuff stuck to it everywhere. And then also I needed some little eyebrow razor things and these are from the Creme Shop and Hello Kitty some of my faves but these will be perfect because my eyebrows are looking a little crazy lately first stop for cal keels he's yes. a keels man i don't know what he's getting he's got my mini so bag this is so me first stop for me mini so first stop for cal keels cal's gonna wear this a oh, cute really? little nautical moment he showed me his shirt and i said cute are you looking at the uh the list and what'd you say is this not summertime chic that is summertime chic. Anything can be summertime chic. I love that. They sell the Bagu bags here, guys. I got one in black and it holds everything. It's absolutely amazing. It looks small, but it holds, it's like a Mary Poppins bag. It holds so much. We're at the Topanga Mall and they just built this thing called the Topanga Social, which look at this. There's like a hundred different food restaurants to choose from. And they all have like little, yeah, it's like a food hall. I see Wanderlust Creamery. Donuts, boba, there's a market. I am hungry. Burrata House. What is Burrata? There's pizza, dumplings. Guys, it is the next day. I am up and I am so excited because today we are leaving for Italy. Wait, did I tell you guys where we're going yet? I don't think I have. We are going to Italy with NARS, which is so exciting. I cannot wait. It is uh, 9.34 in the morning and I do still need to pack, so I need to get a move on it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching. Be sure to come back to the next one for travel vlogs, packing vlogs, Italy vlogs. It's gonna be amazing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.